If you need to scrape thousands of emails from Instagram, but don't want to get a cease and desist letter from their lawyers who can't even spell my last name right, then I'm going to show you how to scrape thousands of Instagram emails from Google for free without ever accessing Instagram at all. For this video, I'm going to scrape the emails by Instagram niche. So we're gonna use beauty as the first example, but we can do all these other niches as well. To get the magic Google query you'll need for this, click the link in the description and copy this big text you'll see in the first text box. Here, I'm gonna scrape beauty influencers and get their Gmails, Yahoo's, Hotmail's, et cetera, using this Google query. Just copy the query and modify it to your liking and just type it into Google so you can see exactly how it works. You'll see that it forces Google to show the email addresses on the featured snippets so you can copy them. And if you wanna scrape influencers from a different niche, just change the first keyword to something like fashion. You can get as specific or general as you need. And feel free to use multi-word keywords, so like skin space care, for example, would work as well. So if you just need a dozen of emails, you can literally copy this whole search results page and then put it into an email extractor I'm gonna show you later. But in the rest of this video, we're gonna show you how to automatically scrape this so you can get thousands of emails for free using a tool called SERP API, which lets us query Google and extract out the results in JSON format, which is machine readable, meaning we can better extract out the emails using an automated procedure. So you can put in any query, this will query Google and return the results in JSON format. And they give you a free 100 searches per month and each search can return up to 100 results, which means you could hypothetically scrape up to 10,000 emails for free per month with SERP API. And to query SERP API without having to maintain your own code, check the link in the description to my no-code SERP API scraper which has this query for getting Instagram emails pre-populated for your convenience. By default, it has these top seven email providers, but you can add more as you need. Just type in or followed by at and then the domain name of the email provider and modify your keyword to match the type of influencers you're trying to find. Put in your SERP API key and you'll get 100 results back in downloadable format. The emails will be either in the title column or more likely in the snippet column, and you may have to search for them a little bit, but don't worry, there's a way to get them out of this text very easily. But first, let's download this as a CSV. It's free for the first 10 rows, and now we can clean this up a little bit. I wanna delete these unneeded columns that don't have emails, as I just wanna pull all the emails out. So I'm gonna delete them in Excel, then I can copy these two columns for the title and the snippet, and then paste them into this email extractor because I have under 100,000 characters. And bam, out of 100 potential emails, this found 96 emails, which is pretty good for 30 seconds of work. So I can copy this list and use it responsibly. Please don't spam these people with unsolicited messages. Now to get another round of 96 emails, I just scroll down and I'll put in a different keyword like fashion that's related to my original niche, query SERP API, and I'll get back another 100 results. I can parse the emails out of using that email extractor. And here's a little shortcut if you don't wanna fiddle with this in Excel, just copy all these cells here, and then because it's under 100,000 characters, paste it into email extractor, and you can get the emails out even faster. And by the way, you can write your own code to query SERP API. You don't have to use our no-code platform if you don't want to. All right, so I now have almost 200 emails. You can see I'm on the free plan. Now I've consumed three out of my 100 searches. I did one other one before this video to test it. Now, if you wanna scrape the full 10,000, you can check out this workflow feature here, which will automate making requests to SERP API and combine all the results together. So here I paste it in 16 different queries, each with a different root keyword, but the same email patterns towards the end of all these queries. This workflow will query SERP API on my behalf, one request at a time, getting up to 100 emails per request, and then combine all the results together in one big CSV file. So that took roughly a minute, and now I have a CSV file with 1,600 rows of potential emails. However, the output is gonna be way bigger than 100,000 characters, so we need to do some pre-processing to get these emails out. So I'm back in Excel, and I'm gonna create a new column here to try to get some type of email out of the snippet section. It's not gonna be perfect, but you'll see there's a way to correct it. Go back to the link in the description and scroll down and look for this little Excel formula under extracting emails. Type this formula in, and where it says A1, just replace it with this example, it's gonna be E2. So I wanna reference the cell to the immediate left containing the snippet, for this given row. And just replace all instances of A1 with E2 in this example. Also, feel free to search for other ways to extract emails using Excel, as this one isn't perfect, as we'll find out. However, it's a bit of a difficult task. 
And Excel's yelling at me, I apparently did something wrong. That's probably because I'm on a Mac, but whatever. Hey, it got the email out, although there's a period at the end, so that's not great. But don't worry, we can easily fix this. Now copy that formula and then hold shift to paste it in through all of these rows up to row 1600. So this will run the formula for all 1600 rows for those snippets we extracted from SERP API. Now copy this column and this will be under 100,000 characters. So just paste it back into the email extractor and this will remove all of those improper characters that that Excel formula got us. And here we have about 900 emails out of a potential 1600, which isn't too bad for very little work. So I don't know what you guys plan on doing with these emails, but I'm not a big fan of cold outreach unless it's somewhat relevant. So unless you plan on crafting a personalized message for each of these 900 email addresses based on how you can help them, I don't really recommend sending any emails. But I know a lot of people sometimes use these to run Facebook ads, so maybe if you're doing that, let me know in the comments below. However, I don't legally recommend anyone do that because I believe it violates their terms of service. Or if you're using these emails for a different purpose, let me know in the comments below to help me better understand what you guys are doing with this. Thanks for watching until the end. Like and subscribe for more. And why not check out this next video here on scraping Instagram content and influencers by hashtag so you can get more content ideas.